Here we are again with Don Carricker, and uh, one of the things that uh, a lot of people have been asking and looking at is what, what's changing here in 2012. And obviously we're, we're almost to June, the middle of the year here in 2012, and in the loan industry things are constantly changing. So what are those changes? What are we looking at right now, and what do people need to know? Okay. There's been a lot of changing. I mean, it's our business is going through a, a lot of labor pains, I guess you might call it, over the last three years. And right now, the biggest changes that have happened have been with the FHA, um, Federal Housing Administration. That type of loan, a lot of people think that's a first-time home buyer's loan. It's not. It's a FHA loan can be a person that's owned a house or currently owns a house and is selling one to buy another one. Uh, what has changed is they've started. They've lo lost money a lot this year, this past few years, and FHA is charging more and more on their fees and their mortgage insurance in order to help offset those losses. For example, it used to be back you know, three years ago, the mortgage insurance premium that somebody would have to pay on a house if they didn't have 20% down and they had to use an FHA loan would be 0.55% per year is what they'd pay in mortgage insurance. So for example, that would be $550 per year divided by 12, they'd pay about $46 a month in mortgage insurance on as a premium. And then the FHA charged a 1% fee when they first got the loan as what they call an upfront mortgage insurance premium. So 1% of $100,000 would be $1,000 that would be added to their loan. So that changed and also back then the the uh, down payment used to be only 3%. And so 3% down about half a percent per year uh, monthly per, for mortgage insurance, and then 1% was the cost. Now, as of this April, this past April of 2012, here's the new numbers. You have to have 3.5% three down on your down payment. Your upfront mortgage insurance premium has skyrocketed from 1% to 1.75%. They almost doubled it. So the upfront mortgage insurance premium is now $1,750 on a $100,000 loan. And the monthly has skyrocketed, more than doubled. It went from 0.55% back a few years ago to now 1.25%. So a lot more. A lot more. So if you have a $100,000 house or loan, and it's, that's $1,250 per year, divide that by 12 months, that's $104 a month when it used to be about $40 a month. So it's much much more expensive to get an FHA loan now. And you'll see a lot in the news that FHA loans are no longer the darling of the industry. Uh, conventional loans are becoming more and more popular with their normal conventional mortgage insurance. And the reason is, is that on a conventional loan, you don't have upfront mortgage insurance costs. You have a monthly fee and that's it. And that fee right now is very competitive to what the FHA is charging. Sometimes it's even less if you have 10% down. So, so that's obviously a, a big one for most people out there is mm -hmm. make sure you're looking at your options between FHA and, and conventional anymore. Yeah. Your parents might tell you, for example, oh, get an FHA loan. It's not the same anymore. Uh, there are other options that might be better. Uh, for example, another option that, that is becoming more and more popular is we have the ability, not everybody, but we have the ability to do upfront mortgage insurance to where you pay it one time at closing as a closing cost and you never pay it monthly. Okay. So it works out great. You can get 5% conventional lending, get 5% down, buy out of your mortgage insurance, never have mortgage insurance on your payment at all. It helps keep your payment down. Hmm. Well, that's definitely a good option. What, what other new things are we looking at for 2012 here? Well, coming up in June, um, they're changing again on the FHA. They realize that they've kind of pushed the limit too far. And so what they've done is they said for the streamline refinance FHA loans, so if you already have an FHA loan currently and you're looking to get another FHA loan refinance, try and get a lower interest rate, they've backed off on those fees. They're not going to make you pay the upfront mortgage insurance premium that's the 1.75 percent and they're not going to make you pay the 1.25 percent per month or I'm sorry 1.25 percent per year divided by 12 fee they're backing that down to the original 0.55 percent 
so it does help a lot. Five five, you know, that's five hundred fifty dollars a year divided by twelve. That's the forty six dollars a month. That if you go from an FHA to an FHA streamline refinance, then you can keep that mortgage insurance premium low at the point five five, not have to go up to the one point two five. Okay. Anything else with any other types of loans out there that we have going right now? Obviously, the HARP loan has been the big discussion with a oh lot gosh. of people right now. But uh, that's, not even talk about the HARP loan. That's totally changed again. Oh so. my gosh! Yeah, that's that's a mess. The President Obama came out and said, "Hey, we're going to let anybody refinance. We don't care what the the value of the house is." That was a great political coin. He threw it out there, and it showed that the government was trying to help everybody. Problem is, the government isn't the company doing the lending. We aren't the company necessarily doing the lending either. We're going to sell these to Fannie and Freddie. So Fannie and Freddie said, yeah, we'll go ahead and do this. We don't care what the appraised value of the house is. So you could owe $150,000 on a $100,000 house, and they're saying, yeah, let's go ahead and do that loan. That was what the new thing that came out was called HARP 2, HARP 2.0. And right now, there are very few, if any, investors that are biting on that loan. They're the ones that are putting their necks on the line to lend that $150,000 on that $100,000 house. Even though Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are saying, yeah, we'll do it, we'll let you do it, the people that give the money, they actually lend the money, Chase, U.S. Bank, uh, all the big players that are out there, they're not doing those loans. They're saying, no, we're not going to play that game. We're not going to put our necks on the line. Because what could end up happening is, and what has happened, you just heard, a matter of fact, I saw on the news today that, um, I, I don't remember who it was, I think it was Chase, but I wouldn't swear to that, is having to buy back $300 million in loans from Fannie or Freddie because they said they didn't do things correctly. What probably happened was Fannie and Freddie are hiring a lot of people to look through their documents as they buy up loans, looking for anything that could be out of the ordinary or anything that isn't done specifically perfect. And they're sending those back to the investors and making them buy those back. So that Fannie and Freddie says, yeah, we'll do it. And then they, we, you know, the investor sells it to them. And then they come back and say, uh, no, we can't use this loan. We're not going to buy this loan. We're going to make you buy it back. And there's nothing they can do. They have to buy it back. So. It's it's an it's a fight back and forth. Seems like a nightmare to me, but it is. It's difficult. Obviously, you've had your uh, dealings with a few of them, and it's been a mm -hmm. struggle there. So yeah, we got about uh, four you know, or five, wasn't it? Well, it was more than that, but we had you know a few people that we were able to get in that window of time where they said, yeah, they'll do it, and then the investors came back and said, no, we won't do it. So luckily, we've got a few people that were able to take advantage advantage of HARP 2.0, but then we're right back to you know HARP 1.0 basically. And in, kind of in closing here, one, I did have a question on the phone from one person today was afraid the market was going to tank and was tanking again and all that. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I think we've seen a little bit of an upswing for purchases right now. Mm -hmm. And it seems like right now at this time, it is, for those fence sitters, is a great time to get out there and purchase a new home right. or refinance for that matter just because of what the market's doing. Can you tell us a little about that? Yeah, I'm going to look right at the camera for this. If you're renting right now, think about it. You could be paying less by buying a house because house prices are about 20% discounted right now, almost nationwide. It depends pockets of areas, but realistically, you're going to get a discount on your price of your house. You're also going to get a discount on your interest rate. The rates are fantastic right now. We're seeing rates on everybody from all the way down to into the twos for people that are getting a 15-year mortgage or a 10-year mortgage, um, all the way up to you know just a hair over four for people that are getting FHA, VAs, and et cetera, depending on their credit. So if you're renting right now and you're watching this video, please call anybody, get somebody to tell you whether you're pre-qualified to buy a house because you're gonna kick yourself probably a year or two down the road when rates are back up to their normal of about 6% and you're not gonna be able to afford the house that you can see out here right now where it's discounted price 20%. Okay. Well, I want to thank Don for his time today. Uh, this is Don Carricker and Ty Ward with IWantAGreatHomeLoan.com. If you have any other questions or any uh, feedback you would like from us, please visit us there. Don't our, forget to like us on Facebook. Yes, and our uh, phone number's there. And also there's a quick inquiry. If you are ready to get started with a loan with these great rates, go ahead and click on that button and get started today. Again, that's IWantAGreatHomeLoan.com. Thanks again, Don. Thanks, Ty. Appreciate it.